Today's teardown, we're going to look at this page from Nurture Kit, where you can book a day of Jason's time to help you with any convert kit automation. So to start out, let's take a look at the information that Jason gave me. And then I'm going to break down the page, both in terms of the copy that we see, the structure of the page, and some changes that I think he could make to help this convert better, given the circumstances and what he's offering. So let's start here. We're doing a teardown of nurturekit.co slash book a day. And the audience for this page is coaches, course creators, and service providers who are ConvertKit customers who have a, an established online business. So the most important piece of that, the, the ultimate disqualifier to me is ConvertKit customers. If you're not a ConvertKit customer, then you need to know pretty much immediately that this is not for you. Now, granted, that might be established in some of the ad copy that would be driving people into this page. So for example, if Jason was to run ads on phrases like ConvertKit automations, and if his ad copy established, hey, ConvertKit automations or ConvertKit certified expert and so on, then there's less need to reiterate that because people understand that coming in. But if the ad copy or if the conversation that he has prior to this doesn't firmly cement that this is what he does, then that convert kit piece needs to be front and center to avoid confusing people and so that they can quickly opt in. The established online business piece is a little bit of a curious one. Uh, what this might mean is, do I need to already have proof of success in my business? Can you help me with my very first launch? To me, this seems to point to the idea that this is not necessarily for my first launch. Um, this is not necessarily for the very first time I use ConvertKit. But as we'll see, that might not be the case and that might be an audience that Jason is potentially overlooking. Um, they're looking to get some automation built out that they otherwise would have been doing manually or stuck getting done either because they don't know how to do it or don't have the time. I can speak from experience on this, just not with ConvertKit. So when I was putting my own little training courses together, there were multiple technical parts of the process that I got stuck on or didn't really know how to automate. Things like automating coupon codes or automatically pushing to the right membership page or automating the emails that would go out after the fact. I spent a lot of time learning how to do some of those things, but it wasn't until I brought in Matt Hall to help me get things set up that I got out of my own way and got to launching. And so I'm going to speak from my own bias, but for course creators and for coaches and for people launching offers, there's some urgency. There's usually a poignant sense of frustration. There's some obstacle standing in the way. They're hunting for information. And as, as Jason says here, they maybe just don't have the time or the desire to have to wrangle and deal with that all themselves. They just want to pay someone to make the problem go away and maybe even whack moles that they hadn't anticipated yet. Someone who's been there before, assisted with previous projects and launches in the past, is going to make this super easy for them. Uh, so far, he's just been spreading the word in communities and social, but soon he's going to be driving cold traffic. That cold traffic becomes critical. We need to very quickly establish that Jason is credible. We have to make it very obvious the types of problems that he solves and who he can help. Because when you don't have that immediately immediate familiarity that comes from a conversation or from word of mouth, you might have to work a little bit harder to establish some of that. So without further ado, let's get into the page. So we're on NurtureKit. We've got this book a day form. And let's quickly first talk about the overarching structure of the page as it looks right now. So we've got this hero section and the hero section currently is establishing who this is for. So course creator or service provider, and then trying to establish the problem, a messy account or wanting to set up automation. So right now the hero is trying to do a good job of setting up who this is for and why they might care. And the, the why really comes through in that second line. So get a convert kit certified expert dedicated for an entire day on fixing that for you. So the language is maybe a little bit clunky here. We'll revisit that later, but the hero right now exists to establish what this is, who it's for, and give some sense of why they should care. As with any page, I shouldn't be able to leave your hero section without completely understanding if I'm in your market, if I even want it, and what it is. 
Then we go down and we get into, you don't need a large list to sell and convert at a high rate. You've been led to believe that in order to sell to your list, you need to, you need, and then these multiple different things. And here's the truth. You don't have time to waste watching countless videos and articles, and you shouldn't need to buy a course just to learn something. So here, Jason is sort of agitating the pain. He's sort of saying, here's what you believe, and it's not actually true, and I've got a solution for that. There's a bit of a disjunct here, a little bit of a breakdown that I'll address in a moment. This really stands to kind of do some pain agitation and then start future pacing. So this is what Jason is doing in this copy here. Imagine this for a second. You wake up, grab your morning beverage of choice, and get started on your day. Instead of wondering how you're going to bring leads in the business and then convert them into customers, you've got a convert kit certified expert for the entire day focused on getting this done for you. Uh, what's curious here is that it's talking about bringing leads and converting them into customers and then saying you've got an expert for the entire day focusing on that. So this is where things start to get a bit muddy for me. Are we still talking about automations or are we talking about marketing or are we talking about a little bit of both? Remember up here, we talked about messy accounts and setting up automations, but now we're talking about bringing leads in and converting them. So there's some breakdown in the copy. Anyways, what we've got is a hero section establishing the what, who, why, this pain agitation, trying to sort of show people that what they've been led to believe is false and create a desire, uh, this future pacing, and then some social proof, uh, who he's trusted by. These logos are pretty tiny. I had to squint to read Common Thread and, and Janelle Allen, um, both of which are fantastic companies that you should be paying attention to. And then we get into the actual description of the solution and the credibility. So no more having text stop you in your tracks, which is a line I think probably would be served higher up. But we'll get into that in a second. Uh, and then we get into some credibility, a developer for 20 plus years, email marketer for 10 plus years. Uh, and then we get into the actual meat of the offer, the types of things that can be done in a day. I'm going to recommend that this section should actually be a lot higher. And here's why. Anyone who's been dealing with ConvertKit or ActiveCampaign or any software and has a frustration has a razor sharp understanding of the thing they want to be able to do or at least a, a rough idea of the types of things they want to be able to accomplish but are not able to do right now. So the sooner you can promise me an answer to my specific issue, the sooner you can show me, hey, I can do that specific thing for you, the more bought into this I am. So I would restructure this to actually change the hero section to become more of a screw it, let's do it type of section. And I'll show you very quickly I've shown this before in other videos, but it's a good example of a screw it, let's do it section. We'll go into the buyers page and here, everything I would want as a buyer in investors club, someone who's buying and flipping website domains, all of the reasons to believe are right up here at the top. New deals constantly, 24 point due diligence, done for you legal dog drafting. And if I want those things, I can act on them quickly. Well, very similarly, I'll show you case study, buddy. This is just another example. Uh, one of the reasons, so we have, you know, get case studies that sell hassle-free. We establish what this is. We establish trust. But the very next section is showing all of the different ways that a case study or a customer success story can be used. The reason that we do this on case study, buddy, is because we know that people want customer success stories, but they often have other marketing goals, specific things they want to be able to do, like outbound sales, inbound marketing, authority building. The sooner we show them the potential of this, the more bought in they're likely to be. So let's take it back to Jason's page. So he agitates the pain. He gets into the solution, explains some of what he can do. Um, maybe you need a bit of each. Let's discuss your goals and reaffirms that it actually is one full day. Uh, then we've got some social proof and we get into the actual how it works. I like where this section is in terms of the page. I like that he goes through the, the, the whole trouble of explaining, you know, the what and how he works and who he is and why he's credible and that sort of thing. Uh, this too could maybe be up a little higher, but I don't mind where it is. And we'll get into some suggestions there and we've got the call to action. So let's reverse. Starting at the beginning, are you a course creator or service provider with a messy account or want to set up an automation? There's a double or in this. I'm a, a this or that, and I want to do this or that. And I think Jason actually did a better job of articulating, um, you know, coaches, course creators, service providers, a convert kit customer, and what they want to do 
Uh, you know, Messi account is just super ambiguous. Unless this is language that he's mined from his actual customers, I'd be hesitant to just leave it there because it's, it's, it's unclear if I'm cleaning up a messy account or if I'm setting up automations and doing things more efficiently and keeping in mind that people want to launch. They want to ship their thing. They want to get that offer out. So we want to make sure that it's as easy as possible for them to do that. So I feel like the language in this hero just kind of confuses the issue. Are you a course creator or service provider is good, um, but maybe something more like struggling to set up automations in ConvertKit. Um, might be a clearer way of articulating the pain and helping me understand, okay, it's ConvertKit specific. I am struggling to do this. And then get a ConvertKit certified expert dedicated for an entire day on fixing that for you. Uh, I think where you could revamp this potentially to say, get a ConvertKit certified expert on your dime for an entire day um, to optimize your account and set up any automations you need, for example. Um, right here is where I would say solve issues like check, 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 check. I would find a way to kind of condense this and I would do a little bit of customer research to find out the most common automations or more, most common issues and maybe limit it to, you know, five at most and then an and more or a, a button to click to see what other issues could be solved for me. I would get those specifics front and center so that if I have this burning, nagging pain, I can go, ah, finally, someone can set that up for me. And I would do it in plain English. So then we get into this section and you don't need a large list to sell and convert at a high rate. And I'm confused by the angle of this section because I have an established business. I'm not necessarily in list building mode. I'm in optimizing and automating mode. Uh, so when you tell me a copywriter to write my email as a developer to make it work, the tech know how to keep it running day to day, I'm unsure which of those buckets you fall into because you've just told me about messy accounts and automations, but now you're talking about copywriters and developers. And so I'm just not sure if as part of this offer of a full day, you're going to be creating assets for me or automating, things start to get confused here. And then you don't have time to waste watching countless videos and articles, and you shouldn't need to buy a course just to learn something that can easily be done for you, um, leaving time for you to spend your own sort of genius. I would sooner see this anchor around getting the offer out the door, shipping, launching, getting past the tech stuff so you can start making money, which is ultimately what I want to do. I've got a project I'm excited about and the tech's getting in my way. So the line that I like down here is the tech stop having the tech stop you in your tracks, right? Keep tech from stalling your launch, stopping your tracks, get past this stuff. You know, you could do it yourself. And I think that's important to affirm is sure you could do X, but why not just Y? You could spend hours of your own time learning to do it, but what's your time worth? What value would you derive from that when someone else can set it up for you? And there he could even sprinkle in that he could create maybe a little loom video showing you how he solved it. So that's a quick and simple value add for Jason, where they now learn directly on their own account how to do that next time. Uh, and, and he solves the problem for them. So then I love this, imagine this for a second, but I'd re-anchor this. Instead of worrying about the tech stuff, I get to watch as the signups and the sales come rolling in because someone else whacked all the technical moles for me. I'd like to see that there. And then I would reaffirm uh, the entire day, buy an entire day at a ConvertKit certified, of a ConvertKit certified expert's time for less than it would cost to X, Y, Z. Some sort of comparison statement here to anchor me in the value and understand that in a single day we can tackle you know, all of the issues holding me back would be really good. I love this trusted by section. I would just blow up the size of the logos. And then as we get in here, no more having the text on your tracks. I built my book me for the day program specifically to deliver you immediate results in one day. So I like that framing and I like this credibility. I would even consider maybe you have a picture uh, of yourself here um, talking, you know, more about yourself, putting a face to who you are. Um, you know, I'm getting to know Jason, the developer at this point. And then uh, what happens during your day all depends on your goals. Well, it may not result in the full on campaign strategy and implementation you ultimately need. So again, this is what I'm kind of, I'm still sort of foggy about is, are you my strategist? Are you my automator? Are you doing the tech stuff or the marketing stuff? It's all just kind of muddy. Uh, the service is geared more towards the implementation side of things versus strategy, but I do bring my expertise, knowledge and research. So I would frame this, I would focus, put all my eggs in the, in the implementation side and then use the strategy as an add-on to attract people 
in saying that, you know, I not only do I have all this deep side on the techno side, but I get the full picture. I can contribute to discussions on your strategy and help you sharpen that too. But focus on solving one problem clearly. And then you could have the expanded list of services. I would actually have a call to action button higher up, you know, hire me for the day, potentially. Uh, then you've got the social proof, which I think is good. Um, it would be interesting though, to maybe give some context to, I help these people do X, I help this person do Y, mentioning those specific problems you solve. With the how it works, with these steps, my only thing that I would change, and again, I'm gonna cherry pick, not that Case Study Buddy has a lot of issues with our own site, um, but one of the things that you know we've done is to label the steps, strategy, buy-in, project management, research and interview, case study writing, and so on. I'd like to see similar here, name the steps. Uh, that way, if I'm scanning through, I get a very quick idea of what a typical day looks like. I don't have to read every little bit of, of the copy to get the gist of what you're going to do for me. And I'll just say de delineate these steps a bit. So this section in particular, you might have some homework to do. We have scheduled a kickoff call prior to the working day. Uh, so it's just kind of compounding like different steps into one. I'd either separate them into different steps or just get clear on first we do this, then we do that. Because language like you would have some homework um, and then we'd scheduled. Um, it just kind of confuses things. Um, and then, you know, then so name these steps and kind of get into the different pieces. And I like the idea of what you get at each step um, or, or especially in step three, we're actually implementing the work, explaining what they get out of that. Um, then let's get you booked in. You will lock in your day once everything is completed. If you do not complete the form, you may run the risk of losing your day. I would bring back some friction busters here uh, because at this point, if someone has skipped ahead, this is a good place for some more social proof. Uh, and I would have the type of social proof talking about how impressed by how much uh, you got done for them, how clearly you solved their issues, how they are finally able to launch, how they are finally able to get that thing out the door. I would cherry pick that kind of feedback and go and get it if you don't have it. Uh, and so, yeah, those are some changes that I think you could make here that would really dial this in, button it up. So clarity on the service, move those specifics up higher so that you can get the person bought in to how you can solve their specific problem. Get really clear on the specific problem you're solving and agitate that pain. Agitate consistently that pain throughout the page. I hope this was useful to everybody watching. Thank you so much for tuning in.